Dave, congratulations. Thank Finally, you. a world match play semi final. Just so up how you're feeling after that one. Uh, absolutely over the moon. The, the emotion that, that I went through, well, not even the game, the whole day. You know, my family came back up, and my little girl, Millie, she's like, I really want my daddy to win, and Dolby's like, well, of course you do. And then she's like, do you want my daddy to win? And Dolby's like, well, obviously not. But listen, you know, Dolby, Dolby's one of my best mates, and uh, he's been fantastic today with my kids. Obviously, it's been tough for him. Obviously, I've had my family with me. He's been on his own, but, you know, we're both professionals. We're both going out there. We've had to do a job, and I think it was a fantastic game of darts from start to finish, to be quite honest with you. And um, I'm just so happy to get the win, and, yeah, um, yeah, first time semi finals in a match play, buzzing. 14 8 up, you think you've done the hard work, and he starts coming back at you, and we could see the pressure building on you. What's going through your mind at that point? Um, I'm not going to lie, I did feel it. I, and I'm not blowing smoke at my own backside, but I never feel the pressure, but I did tonight. I really did. And, um, you know, when, it, when I've, I've come back out of the break 12 8 up, which was. A key in mind when I was eight, seven up, I came off and I was like, right, big, big, big session. And I put a big session in, I was 12, eight up. And then I think it was, yeah, say 14, eight up, 14, eight up. And, you know, obviously the shackles are off the dobes. Uh, I've been in that position many a time and he, he started banging the 180s in. And I just started, you know, bricking it. <laughs> you know, I'm brutal, I started, did. Um, and then I think when he got to, did he go to 14, 11, maybe? Yeah. 14, 10, 14, 11. I, I just said to myself, listen, come on, two big legs and you can go home if he lets you in. <laughs> and you can go home and, uh, you know, get ready for the semi-final game. But, uh, listen, full respect to Dolby. He put a great performance in tonight. Uh, you know, I'm buzzing for him. So, you know, quarter-final has moved up the rankings. But obviously, I've had a job. And, you know, I think if you interviewed him now, he'd be buzzing for me to, to, to get that win and move up myself. Semi-final, going to be Joe Cullen. Yeah. Another good mate. They keep, they keep rolling them out for you. Uh, it is. It's... I said to Dobes, like obviously me, me Dobes, Joe, Smithy, Johnny Clayton, we, we're always together, we knock around. Me personally, I'm really good pals with Daryl Gurney as well. So it's going to be tough for me this week. You know, if I'm going to win this tournament, I've got to, I've got to take some cash off some good mates, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, they don't pay my bills. You know, me winning, winning darts matches pays my bills. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be a fantastic high-scoring game of darts, and um, I just hope online darts predicts the score correct this time. Well, we'll give, we'll give it a go. <laughs> 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 but one question: Who had the trainers first? Because that's the burning thing oh. on social media now. Who's copied who? What do you reckon? Well, Come you're on. the trendsetter, aren't you? Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, congratulations. Cheers, Phil. Uh, Nathan, did it feel like a big game atmosphere that, out there? Pardon? Did it feel like a big game atmosphere out there? Oh, mega, wasn't it? I mean, for that, that atmosphere was, it was unreal, you know. I did well to keep my emotions in at the end because I had, obviously, all my friends, my family, my granddad, my stepdad, my daughters, my, uh, my partner, close friends, and then people from school that I've not seen for 10 years, tagging me in Facebook, saying we're here to watch you. What an atmosphere, you know. I said to Dobbs when we were practising, I heard Joe Cullen's walk on it, like, that's better than mine. It went, nah, it's not. Wow. Unreal, wasn't it? You know what I mean? It, it was just unreal. And the crowd were fantastic all the way through. And to be fair, you know, they gave Dolby respect. And I think that's because they know we're really good pals. There's no booing, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it's a great game of darts to be involved in. Great atmosphere. I've really enjoyed my night tonight. And uh, yeah, for all on Saturday. How much did the preparation change, if, if at all? Against Chris? Yeah. Um, not. Not much, to be fair, apart from I bought his dinner. <laughs> yeah, no, that, in fact, I always buy his dinner, so I didn't. Nah, nah, not at all. Listen, we, we, we've had bans, I'm not going to lie. The last 12, 18 hours in, in the house, my manager, Martin, couldn't, he couldn't stay. He didn't want to stay. He'd gone home um, on, uh, last night. I mean, just be me and Dobbs in the house, and we, yeah, we, we've ripped each other, and like I said before, my daughters have tipped up and they've been giving him a bit of grief. <laughs> and he's took it very well, to be fair to him. But, uh, yeah, listen, he's a, he's a gentleman, he's a lovely guy, he's a lovely man. You know, the respect that he gave my kids this week while, he, while they've been in the house, he's been on his own. You know, I can't thank him enough. He's a, he's a lovely guy, one of my best mates, and uh, happy to call him one of my best mates. Cheers, mate. Cheers. You know, from two wins away, you must feel that you're playing well enough to win this now. 100%, yeah. Um, this, this, this week is probably the best I've... Ever felt in my dying career, and that's I know that's a 
big statement, but I felt like I'd been playing bad the first two games and I've walked off with a 99 and 98 average. And I think I played poor. I knew I played well tonight and over, what, 30 legs of darts, I've had, I don't know, 98, 99 again. Um, my 180s are flowing, I'm taking big shots out under pressure. I'm in a good place, you know, good airspace. Um, you know, I bought me, my house went through yesterday, finally. <laughs> Though it's been three months of stress with that, that house, you know. And I think I've got a bit more motivation because I had to, you know, pay for it, and I'm absolutely skint now. So pennies. <laughs> 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 Must be nice to to win that in front of another Stockport legend, Ricky Hatton. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, um, you know, I, I've actually done an exhibition with Ricky Hatton before. And he's, he's actually a good dart player. Um, he supports a rubbish football team, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's a fantastic dart player. And uh, I, I, I didn't see him tonight. I heard that he was there. Um, so I'm just hope uh, I hope he enjoys the night starts. Will there be the same level of banter between you and Joe before the semi final as Yeah, Christian 100%. Thing? Yeah. Well, we, we wanted to go go karting, but Dolby didn't want to do it. So could we both still maybe go go karting tomorrow and uh, I'll run off the track? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Neff. That's a job, Adam. Go karting with professionals. <laughs> Cheers, Neff. Cheers. I can't imagine you not liking like there being anyone you don't like. But what's it like playing friends? Is it hard? Is it tough? It is tough and. Early on in my career, I really struggled to it. Um, and again tonight, you know, I said it before in an, an earlier interview, Dolby took a, si uh, a 68 out to go three to up at the break and I fist pumped him. Mm. 68. You know, he's not took a 170 out, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he took a 68 out, but yeah, I, I, I'm too nice. But that's, that's the kind of guy that I am, you know, I don't like, I want to be the nice guy. And sometimes it does bite me on the backside a bit. But that's who I am as a person. I'll never change the person. Um, but you know, I do also can have that grit in between my teeth, and mm. that's what I did after the after the third break. I came off and like stop fist bumping him, go up there and smash him. You know, there's a lot of dough on play. There's a big trophy up for grabs. Go up there and beat the guy, and I did. And then I started playing really, really well. And uh, yeah, I'm still learning. You know what I mean? I've only been you know at the top gate, top level for four or five years. I am still learning and you know I've learned a lot about myself tonight. Yeah, what about the atmosphere at the house now? Oh, right? unreal, wasn't it? All unreal. You know, every time I come here from the from the first match I played here, which against Merv King, when I absolutely bricked it because the crowd were chanting my name, uh, you know, I've learned to, to deal with that and people think it's easy, easier when they're chanting your name, oh it's not. <laughs> if you're if you've got a thirty two to, to win a leg and they're all chanting your name, if you miss it, you're not missing it for yourself. Yeah. There's 3,000 people behind it, what are you Twitter? It's very tough, but in the same respect, it's better than getting booed. <laughs> um, I, I can't thank him enough, you know, every time I come here, the support I get is amazing. And, uh, you know, it could be interesting Saturday because obviously Joe gets a lot of support. You know, he's got a mint walk on. Mine's mega. I think Joe's better than mine. Joe thinks mine, he's, mine's better than his, so battle of the walk-ons. Yeah. Better than three cow line, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say you haven't been around long, but this is you're going to be a ninth major semi-final. And you're going up. Is it really? Well, yeah, you're going for your fifth final if you get in. Um, How many finals are won? This is what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it you thinking you need another major? Michael, Michael Smith, Michael Smith. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, listen, I, I, I lost two last year. Uh, obviously, I lost the Premier League final. That was the one that got away, the Premier League final. That hurt me for a bit. Um, but yeah, I've had a, listen, I, I've had a, so much in the last three or four years, injuries, uh, family problems, this, that and the other, Covid has happened, lost a lot through Covid, obviously World, Ex World Series and that. It's took me a long time to get back to feeling like this and in fact, this is probably the best I've ever felt in my whole entire life. So, uh, I'll say it now, I'll make the final, I'll win it, I'm not going to lose another one. I'm sick of winning up trophies, to be fair. Yeah, the bin is quite full. <laughs> so everyone's sort of thinking, who's favourite now? Everyone's like, what? Well, the odds? Not like me, that. isn't it? <laughs> so, say, if you, yeah. if you, if you, if you were looking at this from the outside, who would you make favourite now? Um, who would I make favourite? Josh Rock. <laughs> oh, the joke! That's a joke. Um, I don't know the winner, Mean Joe. What would next time? Okay, good prediction.